Imagine a place where the land is frozen for most of the year, and in the summer, millions of mosquitoes buzz through the air. Sounds wild, right? Well, this place exists, and it's called the Hudson Bay Lowlands. Brought to you by Super Simple Sheets. From coast to coast, worksheets that work. Discover the full range of what we offer at supersimplesheets.com. In this video, we're going to explore this incredible region. We'll look at its location, landforms, climate, economic activities, and wildlife. By the end, you'll know just how special this chilly part of Canada really is. Let's dive right in. Location. The Hudson Bay lowlands are located mostly in northern Ontario, but they stretch into parts of Manitoba and Quebec. This region hugs the southern shores of the Hudson Bay and James Bay, two large bodies of water that play a huge role in the area's environment. It's in the northern part of Canada, far from the bigger cities, which makes it a remote and quiet place. But that doesn't mean there isn't a lot going on here. Landforms One of the coolest things about the Hudson Bay lowlands is that it's home to the largest wetland in Canada. That means it's full of marshes, swamps, and forests that are soaked with water most of the year. These wetlands are frozen for much of the year because it's so cold in this region, but during the warmer months, they turn into marshy areas filled with wildlife. The land here is pretty unique. You'll find dry gravel beaches, lots of swamps, and forests that stretch across the region. In the warmer months, when the ice melts, the water collects in the low areas, turning them into wetlands. This mix of dry beaches and soggy marshes makes the Hudson Bay lowlands a very interesting place to explore. Climate. As you might guess, the Hudson Bay lowlands are cold for most of the year. The average annual temperature is a chilly minus 5 degrees Celsius. Winters here are especially frosty, with average temperatures dropping to minus 19 degrees Celsius. It's no wonder the marshes stay frozen for so long. Summers are a bit milder, with temperatures around 10 degrees Celsius. That might sound cool, but for this part of the world, it's a welcome break from the freezing winters. Even though it's not super hot, the region still gets a lot of precipitation between 500 and 700 millimeters of rain or snow each year. Economic Activity Hundreds of years ago, the Hudson Bay lowlands were an important region for animal trapping. Back in the 1600s, English and French trappers fought over beaver furs, which were highly valuable at the time. These beaver pelts were sent all over the world, making this area an important part of the fur trade. Today, people still come to the Hudson Bay lowlands for hunting, fishing, and trapping. These activities are some of the most popular ways people make a living in the area. Polar Bear Provincial Park, located here, also brings in tourists who want to see the incredible wildlife up close, especially the polar bears. Wildlife. Speaking of wildlife, the Hudson Bay lowlands are full of amazing animals. The summer months are when you'll see the greatest variety of creatures. Canadian geese, bears, otters, moose, and caribou all call this region home. You might even spot caribou as they travel through the area. One of the most famous things about this region, though, isn't an animal, it's the insects. The poorly drained wetlands are the perfect breeding grounds for mosquitoes and other biting insects. In fact, just one hectare of land can hold over 10 million mosquitoes. That's a lot of buzzing. If you're into fishing, the lakes and streams here are filled with different types of fish like trout, pike, and walleye. These waters are popular for people who love to fish, and the variety of fish makes it a great spot for fishing enthusiasts. The Hudson Bay lowlands may be cold and remote, but it's full of life and natural beauty. From its massive wetlands and frozen winters to its diverse wildlife and long history of trapping, this region plays an important role in Canada's environment and history. Whether you're fascinated by its wildlife, interested in its history, or just want to experience the wild beauty of Canada's northern lands, the Hudson Bay Lowlands is a place you'll never forget. Thanks for watching. Simplify your teaching journey with super simple sheets. Across Canada, we're known for our ready to use, curriculum aligned worksheets. Dive into our educational solutions at supersimplesheets.com. Super simple sheets. From coast to coast, Worksheets That Work.